Just gonna see if I can get them. Did someone leave their pig behind? Found this little porky in the middle of the screen here. So there must be pigs somewhere around here. I would say stuff to trout fishing. I'm actually having no joy doing this. <laughs> and stick to pig hunting. It's been raining a lot in the last couple of days so the stream has kind of risen up a little bit. I need to cross here and then go in. Not a great start. As always, I'm just walking along and then I hear um, something moving or rustling in the bush. I go to have a look. Um, because it's raining, I don't know if it's just uh, rain and the wind, but um, come on, I wasn't too sure. I really don't know if there was something down there, but then coming back up, you know, just looking around and just thinking, well, was it a bird or was it just uh, the wind or a bit of raindrops? Just noticed there's a bit of uh, pig poo there. You can see all the fur and stuff there. Probably been eating a dead animal. Some old pig poo. And, um, I absolutely hate it when you think, ah, oh, there's probably nothing. But then you come along and you find you find things like that. Now I didn't stage this. None of my huntings are staged. Most of my hunting is hunting. But you know, something's just moving around down there. And I'm trying to get the camera to pan in, to zoom in. On Hopefully the camera can pick it up, but it's just way too thick. But now that I've found that there, starting to make me think, yeah, I probably just bumped into a pig down there. Yeah, it's pretty thick in there. Now I found something quite interesting. So there's a little bit of a trail here, right? And over there is somebody's private property, I think. And you can see here, check that out. Now that looks like to be some animal. They just went under, under there. So obviously there's something moving around. But yeah, just trying to get it on camera and also get it on, get it with the bow. It's, uh, it's a little bit tricky. After seeing a dead carcass on the river there, I thought I might come and have a look at this place. Had a good walk. I've been walking for like three hours now. 
nice and slowly. A few signs, a few signs here and there. Um, I thought I heard something in the bush, but it's really hard to figure out what it is. Could just be uh, some rain, raindrops falling down. Could be a bird. I thought that it was, you know, um, making a quite a uh, rubbing sound on the ground, but can't f can't find anything really. Just been following that fence line up to there, and then I saw a good amount of pig signs around there. I'm just wondering when I start walking back, I'll just check out that stream. So recently I did a video about um, just a few shots that I made through the years um, with the bow. I did a compilation video of all the, sh the kill shot and my wife said to me, um, she said, you just like killing things. And I, re yeah, you do get that comment quite a bit, like, oh, you just enjoy the killing part, killing things and whatever. But that's not really the case because if I really enjoy killing things or seeing animals get killed, I'll be working in a slaughterhouse like for example chicken or something and every time I see a chicken I'll be like yes this is the best job in the world I get to see chickens die so it's not really about the killing part um, I have just as much fun like today just discovering signs or discovering things and just finding out new spots here and there so for me it's it's about the hunt itself and now and then I do come up to animals a lot of people do have that thinking of um, you know you don't need to go out and kill animals and all this thing and fair enough they've got their opinion but it's not something new you know that um, the start of this video I showed you a, um, a drawing of some Egyptian um, Egyptian time where they go out and hunt for food and harvest fish and that's been going on for thousands and thousands of years you know um, we as human beings have been doing that for thousands of years so to connect back to history it's not a bad thing you um, yeah is there's some enjoyment of that part and um, doing it with a bow you know it's incredibly hard especially around Waikato <laughs> um, it's really hard to bow hunt around Waikato but you know if I was living in the South Island or if I was living um, around Wanganui area there will be a lot more game to shoot but, you know, Waikato, there's still some game around. Not a lot, but still some to keep me going. Um, but, yeah, it's just that, you know, we've been doing this for a long time, human beings hunting and gathering and getting food. So what's strange is, you know, people ordering food, getting it boxed up, and then getting it delivered to you with all the ingredients, and then you have to cook it. That's, that's strange to me. Like, why would you pay extra for something that you can do and just go to shop yourself? So, it's all about different opinion, but um, if you don't like the hunting part of it, you don't need to watch the hunting part of it. Um, I, don't, I don't mind. <laughs> so, yeah, thought I might share that with you, just, just so that you guys know, you know, it's not all about the killing, even though it's... It's satisfying to put a good shot in though. Great. Don't know how these pigs get around.
Before I go I do want one thing and that is to shoot a pig with a bow. Um, so I might do an overnight camping trip somewhere and maybe bait an area. So that might be a better idea to try to get the pigs out.